This segment is going to cover landing initialization. Once you're airborne, adjacent to line select key 4 right, you'll see the word arrival. At any point during cruise, you can click on that line select key 4 right, and it will take you to the arrival page. From the arrival page, you begin by pressing line select key 1 left to choose a landing runway. All the available runways at the airport will now be displayed. Simply select the runway of your choice and you'll now be presented with the approach page. All the available approaches will be displayed here. If you don't want to select approach, you don't have to. If you want to select one, go ahead and click the line select key adjacent to it and that will take you to the approach transition page. Again, you don't have to choose a transition. If you want to choose one, press the line select key adjacent to it. If you do choose a transition, it will automatically return you to the arrival page. Otherwise, if you don't want to choose a transition for the approach, simply click on line select key 4 right and that will return you to the arrival page. Here you can review what you have by simply looking down the page to verify you have the correct runway, the approach, and the approach transition if you've chosen one and any standard terminal arrival route or star uh, will also show here if you've chosen one. When you're satisfied that the selections are what you want, press line select key 4 right to activate. By activating, you insert the runway, the approach, the approach transition, and if you had selected a star, you insert the star into the flight plan. Now at line select key 4 right, you will see the word landing. This is your landing prompt to do the landing initialization. The reason it wasn't displayed before is that you didn't have a runway selected. Here on the landing init page now, we need to enter the temperature on the surface from the ATIS report and the surface winds from the ATIS report. Now press the next button to move to page 2 and again to move to page 3. On page 3, you can select whether you're going to have anti-ice on or off. If it's going to be on, press line select key 1 right. Also, if you were going to land with flaps less than full, you could select them at this time. When you're satisfied, press line select key 4 right to confirm the initialization. The landing data page will now appear, showing at the upper left corner your landing weight, your upper right corner the total runway available and the runway you're going to use. In the middle left is the maximum landing weight of the aircraft and on the middle right it shows your headwind and crosswind components. Bottom left is your V ref speed and bottom right is your V approach speed. That's the speed you'll actually fly the approach at. To return to the active flight plan simply press line select key for right again. This concludes landing initialization.